I'm Jake Heatherton from J. Heatherton Building Conservation working on 39 Westgate Street where I'm a contractor and owner of the property. Um, what we're looking at here is the stud work from the original building which was covered in cement render which is now just being conserved and then we'll put a coloured pigment render on, uh, lime wash on top. So with these rendered infill panels what we did to it was uh, we put on a head mortar background on the oak ribbon laths and then we let that go off a little bit and then put on a 50-50 mix of stone dust and lime with hair in it which we got from the barber shop below and then rent, put a three to four mil skim on the top of it let that dry off a bit and iron it all in and then when it's still a little bit damp to paint it with the lime wash straight away and then you'd, we have no cracking and everything is uh, setting off really nice and gently. So it's great to see that you're reusing techniques from hundreds of years ago. Yeah because underneath all of this we found um, really it was a stone dust and lime mixed with hair in it on the top as the render coat as the top coat so it's nice to put it back as pretty much as it came off. So with the rendering on this, um, on the building, we have a 250mm void between the outside skin and the inside skin, so which we have packed with 200mm um, of Rockwell Flexi, and then we put on this 4mm gauge mesh over the top of this, then counter lathe it, and then lathe it with uh, oak ribbon laths. And the reason for the mesh is, is to stop the mortar going in and slumping at the bottom, creating a big lump. So not only does it uh, stop that, but it also adheres to it, which then makes this, the whole render a lot stronger. Uh, so once the uh, oak laths have been put in place, fixed with stainless steel nails, uh, we then put the backing coats on. And the backing coat is a haired lime mortar with pre plenty of lime in it and also 3% truss, which is a pozzolan. And then we put that on, render it in and scratch it up, ready for the top coat. Stage three of the operation is to put on the top coat of render. And this is quite a coarse mix with a pig pigment in it to give it a little bit more depth in colour. Before putting it on, we put on a, we wet the whole surface of the backing coat up and then also put on a sort of like a, a milky wash of lime to, to give it a little bit more key. After that has gone off, or just about going off on the, on the top coat, we then start to put our lime wash on, which is sort of uh, quite a thin wash to start with, and, but as we go through it, it gets thicker. We apply about four or five coats, and in the last coat we've uh, put in a little bit of casein, which acts as a binder and, and gives it a little bit more life. So this is a fantastic example of a 15th century building. Mm. Wash up and with the support of the Cathedral Corto, you've managed to start the revitalization of it. Yeah. What's your plans for the future of it? Well, what we intend to do is turn it into one two-bedroom apartment and one one-bedroom apartment, trying to keep as many features as possible, uh, but also keep it up to fire rakes and all the modern stuff. Mm. It's going to have fantastic views of the Cathedral because that is just an awesome view, isn't it? Yeah, well, the top floor flat the, in the bedroom, you will be looking out towards the cathedral throughout the skylight. Mm. So it's great to bring life back into the city. Well, absolutely, yeah. I think that's very important in this day and age that we bring people back in and start using all the local facilities.